Hi, I'm Sanjay Nagchowdhury, Development Lead for the IBM App Connect Enterprise product. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an API using Designer in IBM App Connect Enterprise version 13. ACE version 13 now allows you to use Designer. Designer allows you to build flows that require low code and can access SAS endpoints using event-driven flows or using an API. The flows in Designer are completely schema-driven and can connect with hundreds of applications on cloud and on-premise through pre-built smart connectors. Designer is predominantly aimed at business technologists who want to rapidly assemble integrations with low code and using high productivity tools. In this demo, I'm going to create an API using Designer, which interacts with GitHub and Slack. I will define a model which contains a set of properties and operations which can be invoked. The operations will allow you to create an issue, retrieve an issue, and close an issue in GitHub. A Slack message will be sent to a channel as part of each operation as notification that the operation was performed. So in Ace version 13, after you've installed it, you are given many options to launch the toolkit or launch a command console or new in version 13 to launch Designer. So if I select the option to launch Designer, the Designer process will be started and this will allow any flows that you create in Designer to be started so that you can test them locally and check that they are working. The welcome page for Designer is shown here. You are given options to create an event-driven flow or create flows for an API or to import an existing flow. In a previous video, I showed how to create an event-driven flow. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create flows for an API. So I'm going to create an API which interacts with GitHub and it's going to use GitHub connectors and Slack connectors as well in the operations. So I'll call the model name issue and now I'll define the properties that I'm going to use. So I'm going to have a property for the title of the issue, a property for a description, I'm going to specify a label, and I'm going to specify a number. So the number will be the git issue ID that is used. Now that I've defined my model, I'm going to create operations. So I'm going to create an issue and I'm going to retrieve an issue by ID and I'm going to update the issue by ID. So this will allow the issue to be closed using a put verb. So I've defined for three operations. I'm now going to implement the flows. So I'm going to select the GitHub node. I already have an account for GitHub defined. I created this in the previous video. So I'm going to set the action to create an issue in GitHub. So I'll specify the organization and the repo. And now I'll specify the fields that are required to create the issue. So I'll take the title from the request body and also the description from the request body. The label needs to be in an array. So I will pass the label within an array and I'll leave the next two fields empty. So this is my GitHub issue defined. I can test that this works by clicking on test action. And I can see that it has created an issue. It created issue 45. If I open up my browser for GitHub, I can see issue 45 has been created.
So now I'm going to add a Slack node to send a message to a channel to notify that a GitHub issue has been created. So I'll click on the action to send a message. So I'm going to send the message to a channel. I'll specify for channel name and some text. I'll say git issue. Then I'll specify the issue number that was returned by GitHub has been created. And I'll specify the title. So the title was the value that I passed in the, in the request body. And I need to specify the response. So the response will contain the number that was returned from GitHub when creating the issue. And I'll specify the title that was passed in and the description and the label that was provided. OK, so that's my first operation created. Just set the name for the flow. And now I'll implement the retrieve. And I can specify that I want to use the GitHub request node again to retrieve the issue. So I specify the organization and the repo. And I'm going to specify the issue number. And the issue number will be taken from the request URL. So that is the GitHub request node configured. I'll now add a Slack node. And here I'll send a message to the channel. And I'll say good issue. Specify the number from the request URL. As title, and I'll specify the title that was retrieved and description, and the description that was retrieved as well. So that is my SAC request node configured, and I'll specify a response body, and I'll specify the title that was retrieved from GitHub. The description that was retrieved and the label name and the number is simply number that's passed in the request URL. Okay, so that's my second operation implemented to retrieve the issue. So now the third operation is to allow the issue to be closed. So I'm going to add again the GitHub request node and I'll update the issue. So I'll specify the organization and the repo. The issue number will be taken from the request URL. And I'm going to specify that the issue is closed with a reason completed. And now I'll add a Slack node to send a message to the same Slack channel. And I'll specify that git issue. I'll take the issue number from the request URL. I'll simply say has been closed. And the response does not need any further changes to it. So I can click on done there. So I've implemented the three operations and now I'm ready to test the API. So I'll click on test. And now I'll try each of the three operations that I had implemented. So first I'll try the post. I can click on try it and I will provide a request body which says demo title for video as a title, a demo description and a demo label. I click send. And I'll get back a response it says 201 created and the issue number 46 has been created. If I go to GitHub and do a refresh, 
I can see issue 46 has been created. I can see the demo title and I can see the description and the label as well, which says demo label. If I look at Slack, I can see that a message has been sent, which says Git issue 46 has been created and shows the title as well. So let's try doing the retrieve. So on the retrieve, I'm going to click on try it and I'll specify 46 as the number. So this is the issue that was just created. I click send. I get back the details of the issue that was just created. And if I look at Slack, I can see I have a Slack message which says Git issue 46 and it has the details of a title and the description. And finally, let's try the put. So this will close the issue. So again, if I specify issue 46 and I don't need to specify anything in the body. If I click send, I can see I get a 201 created. If I now refresh my browser, I can see 46 is not shown in the open issues anymore. If I click on closed, I can see 46 is now being closed. And it's been marked as completed. So I'll stop for tests and return to my API. So in this video, I demonstrated how to create an API using designer. I defined a model where I specified the properties and then I defined the operations and I then tested the API using the test API option and the try it capability in designer.